I've been married for 29 years. And even though I've been married for 29 years, there are certain areas in my life that I want to pull up on as a wife. It's very important to me to please my husband. The same way when we first got married, I wanted to make sure that I was a good wife. And even though we've been married for a couple of decades, it's still just as important to me to please him, to be the wife that he needs me to be. So if you are a wife and you need some tips on how to become a better wife, make sure you stick around and watch the full video. It's important to me as a wife to feel like I am valued. I want my husband to know that he have a good wife. I try to figure out ways that I can make his life easier. I try to do little favors, little things for him. And one thing I found out is since I started is that it don't take much to please him. I don't think it takes much to please the average man. Sometimes we think that the only thing that our husbands pay attention to and focus on is something to do with sex. But, you know, that may be part of the truth, but it's not all of the truth. And what I'm finding out is that the little things that I do for him, he does appreciate it and he does value me for those things. My husband is a pastor. Sunday mornings is our main service. And so he likes to dress up on Sundays and it's really important to him to look nice. And my husband have a lot of clothes. What have happened been that he have so many clothes, sometimes he get overwhelmed with trying to figure out what he's going to wear to church on Sunday. So for the last year, I have been picking out his clothes for him. I mean, I pick out his suit, his shoes, his socks, his jewelry, uh, whatever he's gonna need to complete his outfit. That's what I do. I have teased him about it and told him that I'm his personal stylist. And what's so funny about it is that he always likes the stuff that I pick out for him. And it makes it easier for him so he don't have to even worry about what he's going to wear. I got that part taken care of for him. And yes, that's something small, but it don't take much to please men. Sometimes we think it does, but it really doesn't. Every night, my husband and I, we sit down together and we watch a movie or a couple of shows until we get ready to go to bed. So what I have started doing is like, Right before I know that he's getting ready to come to bed, I always prepare the bed for him. So what I normally do is come upstairs and I pull the bedspread and also the sheet back and kind of like fold it back and have it looking really neat for when he get ready to come upstairs and get in the bed. And another thing I have started doing too is my husband, time he gets in the bed, he falls off to sleep and it's because he's so exhausted. So what I normally do is, um, after I know that he is soundly asleep, I cover him up and make sure that he's comfortable. I mean, you guys, one thing I've noticed is that it don't take much to please a man. Just the little things count and just the things that we think that's not, things that we think don't matter to them, it does matter to them. And they even think about it when you're not around. If you don't do special things for your man, I hope that after watching this video that you will be encouraged to. I hope you enjoyed the video. And what I want to know is what special things that you do for your husband? If you like the message that I bring, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell. That way you will know every time I upload a new video. I love reading you guys' comments and hearing from you. If there is a particular topic that you would want me to talk more about, or if you have a question that you need to ask me, you can email me at chatswithflow at gmail.com. I hope you enjoy this video and make sure that you stay tuned and look forward to the next video about how to be a good wife.